nice. Mama, you gotta get that. He just needs his baby. I know I ain't pissing on myself. Hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Sheikah if you're new and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, stay a while. Besides this vlog, check out a few other of my vlogs and consider subscribing because we're lit here and we would love to have you. Anywho guys, happy Saturday. Today is the day before the baby shower and my auntie is here from louisiana she is hosting so we are about to go to the store and get like her hosting things um the pro the props and stuff for the games that she likes to play we're gonna finish getting like gifts for um the winners and stuff like that and we're just gonna have a day so i just want to come on here and introduce the vlog let y'all know what we have going on let's go sit down y'all and I'm too big for the chair look too big for the chair we came over here to um to the old people store to Bill's outlet my mama is looking for something to wear for the baby shower tomorrow but get this my mama is the type of person she have a closet full of clothes and talking about she don't have nothing to wear mind y'all what I'm wearing to the baby shower came out of her closet and it has tags on it so you tell me if she really don't have nothing with it. Come on, be a model. Let me see your model. That's nice. Mama, you got to get that. Really? Now you need some really nice shoes. <laughs> Mama, you could barely see that. Hey, y'all. Hey, and happy Sunday. It is baby shower day. I didn't get to record much on yesterday because honestly speaking, it was a lot of like going in and out of stores. Um, we did get a few things. Like it wasn't really baby shower things, if that makes sense. Like my mom was looking for something to wear, but that was about it. And then we came home and my auntie started doing her, um, doing her thing. So right now, I am on my way to the venue. I was supposed to give my god sister all of this stuff because she's the one that's setting up. However, that didn't happen. So everybody just gonna meet me at the venue that's gonna help set up and stuff like that. I have to bring the permit. I have to bring all of this stuff that y'all see in my truck. I gotta bring it there. Um, I'm gonna come back home. I need to bag gifts. My auntie needs to uh go to a store and pick up all the things that she needs for her gifts and stuff like i meant for her games and stuff because she's the host so yeah i just wanted to get on here and let y'all know what i had going on today i am feeling good um today is a bittersweet day for me not only are we showering my baby boy today but today is also my brother um my late brother's birthday so it's bittersweet for me today. I'm gonna try to, you know, keep a smile on my face and not cry. Excuse me if y'all see me crying on camera. I just let y'all know why. It would definitely be tears of joy. Um, I'm a little sad, of course, because I miss my brother. However, I'm sure he's smiling down and he's proud of me. So yeah, let's go.
I know I look crazy. <laughs> the day, um, not even the day, the night of the baby shower, I snatched that damn wig off because I just didn't feel like being bothered. I didn't feel like being bothered. And I'm currently under the weather. I want to go ahead and get my labor hair out of the way, but I've been stuffy the last few days. And if you know, you know, I shouldn't be wetting my hair while I'm stuffy. So. I'm just letting life take its course. Once I start feeling better, yeah. ooh, excuse me, I'll get my head together. In other news, tell me you ready for your son without telling me you ready for your son. <laughs> this man been putting up shit every day. Every day. He got the, the stroller right here, car seat right here. You got a cart right there. Two carts. Oh, the other cart over there. Yeah. Hold on, let me um, let me let me bring y'all over here. <laughs> let me bring y'all over here. He done built these two carts. This is all baby boy's gifts from the baby shower and from his registry. We would like to thank his internet tts his aunties and uncles and cousins who came out to the baby shower honey this little boy is blessed okay this little boy is blessed some of these boxes are empty some of them are not like i said daddy been going through um putting things up i've been under the weather y'all so i haven't been able to tap into nothing okay nothing daddy say the way i've been feeling he don't know when i'm going into labor um our actual due date is four weeks from now so we'll see him he better know what he doing and not have my baby on no damn four flats that's all i know you go back like four flats in whatever child he just needs his baby <laughs> What's up, little man? Thank you. <laughs> this man just needs his baby. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you. Amen. 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 Hey, y'all, and happy Thursday. I hope you all are having a great day. Because I am, if you were wondering, baby and I, um, had a doctor's appointment today so that's why we did not go to work we're off um we'll dive into our appointment once we get home but for now we're at target i'm gonna look for some baby things yeah when we get home i'm gonna find something else to build okay, look how big i am uh. Cart. Damn, Target ain't got no carts. It's giving Walmart vibes. Child, they got a little Halloween stuff out or whatever. I think pumpkins are so cute. Y'all like pumpkins in your house? What it smell like? 
second. Sugar pear, bourbon pumpkin. I don't like that one as much as I like that other one. What's y'all favorite fall candle? Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, that one that is loud. Yeah. This one here is the same. Y'all, this thing right here is giving marshmallow fireside. Wait a minute. So we came in here for something like this. Yeah. Hey y'all, so it is currently Friday. I'm here at work, obviously, and I wanted to come on camera to kind of um, slow it down a bit, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I've been jumping here, there, everywhere, you know, just trying to make sure I pick up the phone and record for y'all and be consistent as I have been. So today I just wanted to well, this morning, I wanted to get on here. I wanted to talk about um, my doctor's appointment on yesterday. Kind of tell y'all, like, how I'm feeling as far as, like, an update on my pregnancy journey. Um, I'm sitting here at work. I'm watching the vlog currently, and I'm also working on baby shower stuff. So, um, vlogs that has to come is obviously the baby shower vlog. Um, what I got like the gifts from the baby shower I'm trying to uh, figure out when I'm going to record that because y'all my husband is working like building everything or whatever so I don't really know how that vlog is going to look or that video is going to look but I do want to go ahead and you know record and show y'all at least half of the stuff that we got because to say that we're blessed is an understatement. Like this little boy is so, so blessed. And I wanna say thank you to his internet aunties. Like I thank y'all so much for pouring into my baby. It is so humbling. Like I say this all the time. People have a lot to say about social media. However, I thank God for social media. I thank God for y'all. Like y'all just don't know how y'all pour into me. Y'all just don't know what y'all encouraging words do to me. Y'all don't know. Y'all are my girls. We like in. We like this. I'm currently purchasing the things that I need for my hospital bag. So that's going to be, um, I don't know if I'm going to like include that in a vlog or make that like one separate video, like the things that I put in my hospital bag or whatever. And I think that's about it when it comes to the planned content outside of regular everyday vlogs um so yeah so let's back it up um yesterday's doctor's appointment was the same but different if that makes sense so when i first go in i always get my weight checked they check my blood pressure and um they check baby's heartbeat so they checked his heartbeat on yesterday and after that i had to get a gbs uh screening and if you don't know what that is that's basically like where they swab the front and the back to um make sure you don't have some kind of bacteria i don't know how to pronounce the word i'll leave it on the screen but they do that to make sure you don't have this specific bacteria because if you do they have to treat it before you give birth because you can transfer it to your baby especially if you're giving birth vaginally so that's what that is for and um i had to do my last set of panels before i have him and you know the panels are the regular stuff like when you go get your paps like you you know get your std sti uh screening stuff like that i had to get that um on yesterday and outside of that um that's really all we did we go back to the doctor in a week and a half it actually falls on our wedding anniversary which is September 23rd we go back to the doctor then um, I was told that the cervix check will start at 38 weeks 
and that doctor's appointment, our next doctor's appointment, will fall in between uh, 37 and 38 weeks. So I won't be surprised if I get my first cervix check at my next appointment, um, which I'm a little nervous about, but honestly speaking, it has to get done. So I'm like, whatever, I deal with it, you know? I'm anticipating on getting it done because I kind of want to know like where I stand like if my cervix is like softening like am I dilated some um I really want to know and I also want to know if my baby is head down or if he is breached and y'all know you can't you can't have a baby naturally if the baby is breached you have to get a c-section unless they go in and turn the baby or whatever like that and i don't know how i feel about having somebody go inside of me and turn my baby like if he's breached and it calls for a c-section i feel like that's what god wants, and we'll just go with a c-section so um that's that yeah that's pretty much that um Okay, moving right along, my symptoms, how I feel in this third trimester. Right now, I am currently um, 35 weeks and 6 days. Tomorrow, I'll be 36 weeks pregnant. Um, I'm stuffy, obviously, and that's only because my smart self decided to sleep, one, under the AC vent, two, I had a ceiling fan on, and three, I had, like, the regular fan blowing on me. Smart. I know. I know. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm stuffy. Um, other than that, my baby feels like he is tap dancing on my bladder. I always feel like I have to go use the bathroom. Um, and when I go, sometimes it's a lot. A lot of times, it's just a little bit. Um, this may be a little... TMI for some of you guys if it is I'm sorry I noticed well I just recently noticed at the beginning of the week that my bladder is getting a little weak if that makes sense like I was coughing and I felt a little I felt a little something and I was like I know I ain't pissing on myself I know I ain't pissing on myself <laughs> So yeah, y'all, I was coughing and, 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 and the rain was just coming on down. So I noticed that, uh, let me see, last weekend I felt what I would think is a Braxton Hicks contraction where my stomach got tight and like I felt like a cramp or two at the bottom of my stomach. I felt like that was a Braxton Hicks. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. I don't know. This is my first pregnancy. Um, and actually yesterday, which was Thursday, I was, um, doing a client's hair and I felt like some lower back butt cramps, if that makes sense. And I don't know, um, I don't know what that was about, but my doctor did tell me that I would like start feeling, um, like some pelvic pain and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm supposed to feel that in the front, in the back. I don't know. I'm just telling y'all what I've been feeling. Um, let me see. I'm a lot tired. I'm a lot more tired in this trimester. Um, I don't think I eat as much in this trimester as I did in my last trimester. I find myself snacking a lot because I know I need to eat for my baby. But other than that, like I feel like I'm fine with just breakfast and just dinner. Um, I've been slacking on my water, but I'm trying to keep my Stanley on me to, um, you know, be a reminder that I need to stay on top of my water. That's that. And for the mamas that's here on my channel that watches me, why didn't y'all tell me when you're pregnant, like your hormones? is everywhere and when I mean hormones I don't mean like you know crying and all this kind of crap because I'm a cry baby anyway but what I mean is like the yeast infections the uh 
urinary tract infection and I'm sorry all of this is TMI go ahead and fast forward but I just want to have a real deal conversation like I'm not the type of person that I'm going to sugarcoat anything I'm this is me I'm going to be real to know me is to love me that's just it but why didn't y'all tell me like pregnancy hormones can cause all of this because I was telling my mom and I was telling my doctor even my husband like I've never dealt with so many I've never dealt with so many like since I've been pregnant this has been crazy to the point where I'm gonna just leave it down I'm gonna just leave it down I ain't gonna put y'all too much in my business I'm gonna just leave it down but it is too much and I be talking to my sister Mimi and she be telling me sis don't worry about it it's the pregnancy, it's the pregnancy, it's the pregnancy. Everybody is telling me, excuse me, everybody is telling me the same thing, but I'm human. I can't help but to feel how I feel. Why y'all ain't tell me, yo? Why y'all ain't tell me? Saturday. I am out and about already early this morning. I am headed to do my last clients until after I have my baby. It's getting real, y'all. It's getting real. Before I left the house this morning, my mama noticed my stomach is dropping. My baby is on his way out. I have a bacon egg and cheese croissant from um, racetrack. I need to I need to eat something, y'all. I didn't put nothing on my stomach before I left the house. And that's a no-no. That's a no-no. Mm. But anyway, let me head to do what I gotta do. I'll check in when I'm done. Happy Tuesday. It's been a while since I picked up this camera. Y'all, I've been tired. I've been sick. We are almost to the last days of being pregnant. And if you have been pregnant before, you know it's tiring. And that's just... Uh -oh. That's just where I've been with it. As you can see from the back... Um, I'm currently working on getting baby shower uh, gifts put up. Our baby shower has now been a week in something going. And I ain't say that right. It's been a week since the baby shower. There we go. And we haven't put a dent in any of this stuff. Like day by day, we'll come out here and put up some stuff. But, y'all, <clears throat> I'm currently 36 weeks and two days. We really don't know when baby boy is coming. So, we're trying to um, be proactive and get as much done as we can. Um, yesterday, we went to the store and we bought the things for my hospital bag. So, I'll be going over that with you guys. Um, we are about to get started with this stuff in here um, maybe I prop the camera up and show y'all a few things I was going to do like a I was gonna do like a dedicated video showing y'all everything that we got from our baby shower but when I tell y'all that video <clears throat> let me get in something better later I'm sorry my hair looking crazy whatever if I was to do a dedicated video of what we got from the baby shower, that video would literally be more than an hour long. And who wanna sit through that? Cause I don't even wanna sit through it and do it. Okay, so I could just show y'all like, look at all this stuff. It's a lot y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot. 
I got y'all propped up a little crazy. But nevertheless, you gonna see. All right, so we're gonna start with <clears throat> this bag. And this is from um, 2D, Tommy, and Maya. Of course, y'all yeah, don't know who those people are, but shout out to them. Baby got some bottles. Two things, the bottles. These are the Dr. Brown anti-colic bottles, the ones that I wanted. <clears throat> you wanna put these in the kitchen? Yeah. We got a baby grooming um, kit. And this comes with, let's open it up. It's so cute and sleek, y'all. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. It comes with all the things. Let me show y'all. It comes with a brush, a comb, some little, these are little things. I guess that's for boogers. I don't know. Some scissors, a thermometer, a nail clipper. It comes with all the things, y'all. I think this is super cute. So your heart. Y'all, I thought this is so, was so cute when I see this at the baby shower. This is six months, so he probably could wear this for um, Valentine's Day. These folks are gonna turn this little baby into an animal baby because he got a whole bunch of animal stuff. He got some more of these. Some hangers that we definitely will use. He have a little bear that says my first bear. So cute! It looked like this could go on his um on his stroller or his car seat. Y'all, she thought about me. I have some um nursing pads. I have two boxes of those. I have some um breast milk storage bags. And then I also have some um, nipple balm. So she definitely thought about me. <clears throat> Thank you to them. Let me get up and go and get the other addition to their gift. Hey, Pat. Y'all, she had not painted the thing. Look how cute. Look how cute. <laughs> like the fifth one of these we got. Here's another one. We got so many of these. Okay. In here. This is cute. We have some little outfits. Yeah. Some socks. What's this? Burping cloths. What is this? A four piece bath set with the towel and the rags and stuff. Some feeding, these feeding bibs, right? Easy clean bibs.
more bibs. More rags. We have a lot of these too, y'all. Here's another cute little onesie. More bibs. Oh, this is on brand, y'all. <laughs> and here's a, a hat bib and sock set. So cute. And he has some little shoes. Baby, you saw these? for tummy time y'all for tummy time you put water in here and you let the baby like lay on it you have another little onesie and then you have his very first spiral y'all know we love this we love this Y'all daddy been so excited putting stuff up. And I'm the I'm the hold up. I must admit. Uh -uh, not yet. I'm the hold up, y'all. Daddy been on the uh Daddy been on the ball. bag right here when i think about it y'all when we were at the baby shower i was going through bags and kind of putting like other people's stuff in other people's bag if that makes sense because some bags had a lot more stuff than others and i would like take it out put it on me and then just put them back in the bag if that makes sense so it could be a possibility that other people give something in these bags i don't know but i'm just going to show y'all what we have Yes. I love the little feet things. I love these. And we got another little outfit with the little shorts in the back. It's these. I can't get over these little shoes. Look. <laughs> Some shoes. This? Oh, this says baby ear and nose care kit. I don't know how to use this, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how to use this. <sighs> Moving right along to this bag. These are bags. It's cute, child. We have some socks. Some more washcloths. Another one of these little things for his bottles. And this is a warm and cozy blanket and neck pillow set. Y'all, what they say? Man, mommy and me. Y'all some haters, who got there. <laughs> Look, 
Another one. We're gonna have so many other damn things. Okay, y'all, let us finish going through the stuff and I'll see y'all in a minute. I had to come back and show y'all this. Is this not cute or what? That's some robe, he got a robe and some shoes. Too cute. I want to show y'all this basket from Miss Gill and Mr. Mike. I didn't go through this at the baby shower, so let's see. He got this little ugly pacifier you with the little doggy on it. That's the one you hit the hospital. I say it's ugly, y'all, but it's gonna be crazy because he might like this. Oh my goodness! Polo, polo, polo. This little baby is gonna be fresh as hell. It's gonna be a while before he get into this. Him and daddy gonna be matching. I'm sure. <laughs> This is a 24 month. This boy gonna be two when he wear this. He got a polo onesie. Oh my goodness. They look at a little feet. <clears throat> this is six month. This is six months. I don't know if you're going to enjoy though. So true. And this is a nine month. Yep. <laughs> this is polo as well. Baby gonna be fresh as hell. Okay. And then he has a lot of um, like bath and hair stuff. This is conditioner. You don't have nice long hair. This is face and body lotion by the Honest Brand. This is the bubble bath. This is the shampoo and body wash. Some baby powder. Stuffy nose and cough essential or va vapor bath. This is cool. I didn't see none of this before. So what, we put that inside, there's water on the table now? Yep. Yep. And what it's gonna do is, it's gonna pull all that out of his nose. We have some Calm and Sleep Foam Soap, Mr. Bubble. <laughs> he gonna have fun with that. Splashing around. All right. <laughs> gonna be wet. Some lotion, bedtime lotion. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is and what's this? I guess this for teething. Banana massage and toothbrush. It's so weird. Big this one fit good since you're going for a bit. Oh, is, is, is it more? Oh no, these are the uh, hangers. Baby boy has another cute little basket. Every time I say I'm just gonna go through this stuff and then get back on camera after I'm done, I see something that I wanna show y'all. <clears throat> so here's another basket. I think this is from his Grandparents, this is from Antonio's dad and his stepmom. Y'all, the cutest thing ever. 
Oh my goodness. Look. It's a little heavy, so I'm trying to pace myself with this. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> I can't even hold this up good for y'all to see it. Let me put it down so y'all can see. Hold on. So freaking cute. They did insane with this. Look how stinking cute. They did their thing with this basket. What you were saying? You see the name on it. Mm. Y'all tell them it say junior. It don't say senior. <laughs> that say junior on there. Hey y'all, just coming to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in with your girl. If you like this video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. So please go ahead and consider subscribing. We're lit here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.